guys so as you can see I'm in my kitchen and you know when I'm in here I'm about to cook something up so today I'll be making escovitch kingfish so if you want to know how to make this dish then don't you move a muscle all right First thing first guys, I have my kingfish right here. This is two pounds of kingfish and they've already been washed with lime and vinegar. And I've also patted them dry with, you know, paper towel because you want them to be dry. That way they don't break when you start frying them because if there's moisture in the fish, they will break. All right, so for seasoning, I'm going to use a full pack of Maggi fish per usual. I'm going to use some Dynamic Cuisine House Blend. This is like a blend of spices. There's no MSG in this, so I really, really like this seasoning. I'm going to use some black pepper, and I'm also going to use some Maggi or purple I have some seasoning. some onion over here. I have a stalk of escalion or green onion, as you would want to call it. I have thyme. I have some garlic over here. This is like two cloves of garlic, and I have like a, a dozen pimento. And yeah, some scotch bonnet as well can't leave the scotch bonnet out no time okay guys i'm also gonna be adding like two tablespoons of vinegar and in this vinegar right here i added half a tablespoon of granulated sugar so now the granulated sugar is to take out the harshness out of that vinegar you don't want that harsh taste onto the fish and the sugar helps to kind of like you know even it out it's not gonna be sweet it's just gonna even out that taste in the vinegar so let's start seasoning up the fish, guys. So I'm going to go in with all of that Maggie. I'm going to go in lightly with the black pepper. As you don't want to over-season the fish, you want the fish to still keep that flavor that it naturally have, you know? A lot of people like over-season fish and doesn't taste like fish so the whole blend i'm going to list the exact measurement in the description guys per usual okay so season it up season it up season it up clean hands just gonna rub it onto the fish i know it looks like you know there's barely any seasoning on there but we, remember we don't want to over season the fish we do not okay so this is how the fish is looking now both sides seasoned and we are ready to fry so we're gonna just gonna sit this right here for about three minutes until our oil is eaten up and we're ready to fry these bad boys. So while our oil is eating up, guys, I'm just going to add the garlic. And I'm also going to add the green onion. And like, I'm going to add some thyme as well. Alright, so be careful when you add the thyme in, guys. Because this thing will just start flushing all over the place. So be very careful. So guys, here's another trick to know when the oil is ready and we can put the fish in. See those seasonings turning brown? That's when you know it's ready. So we are going to start adding the fish. Alright. Take your time. And I'm going to fry two at a time because I don't want the oil to cool down I want it to stay nice and hot so I'm gonna fry like two at a time all right so they're frying nicely looking good they're smelling good and that's what's up I'm gonna put a little piece of the stuff bunny in the aloe vera guys I forgot to do that so yeah I'm going to fry them for like three minutes on each side so total cook time for the fish is going to be like six minutes 
trust me, fish is very easy to fry, guys. Very, very easy. It doesn't take long at all. Guys, right, so now you see that white stuff coming out the fish? Do not be alarmed. It's just fat from the fish. Yes, it has fat as well. So yes, it's just fat from the fish. It's nothing really. So we're almost ready to turn them now. So guys, we flip them over and this is how they're looking. They're looking so good. Smelling so, so good. <laughs> We're going to allow these to fry on the other side for three minutes and then, you know the vibe, we're going to take them out. So guys, now we're just removing them from the pot. I removed one already. And we're putting them right here on this paper towel to drain off. So now we're going to add these ones to the pot. And to the pot you go. And as I said before, three minutes on this side, then we're going to flip them over. Okay? So guys, we flip them over, and this is what they're looking like. And we're just going to allow the bottom to fry for three minutes, and then we're all done. All done. Quick and easy and so delicious. Alright guys, so we finished frying the fish, so now let's do a pot switch. Remove that pot, bring over this one right here. Okay, and this is the pot we're going to be using to make our escovitch in. So we're going to allow this pot to heat up and then we're going to start on our pickling. Alright guys, so while it's heating up, I'm going to use like three tablespoons of the oil. One. Two, three, maybe four. Yes, four. And then I'm just gonna just enough to saute the seasoning. Alright, so let that heat up a bit. Then we're gonna add our seasonings in. Guys, for me, it don't matter to me really. I just add everything inside. Just like so everything inside okay. we're gonna start them. So we cover the pot so saute them if you don't have a tongue you could use a fork you just you know like kind of flip them around flip them around just keep flipping them around I kind of like mine crunchy, so I don't cook them too long. So, yeah. So now I'm going to add my vinegar. Remember that vinegar liquid that I mixed with the salmon and sugar? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. That's what's up. Guys, I wish you could smell the flavors just bursting in this chicken right now, like, for me. It smells really good in here. So now I'm just going to turn the fire off and just let it cook. And that's it for the pickling or the escovitch pickling or whatever you want to call it, guys. I call it pickling sometimes. <laughs> so this is it. Let's see. Alright guys, so here I have a plate with two slices of bread. I'm just gonna add two slices of fish to that. So I have the fish right here. Two slices of fish. Let's go with the bread. And I'm just gonna add some of the pickling to it. And we are all done, my loves. Hesco Beach fish with white bread. Thank you so much for watching and I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll definitely see you in my next video. Bye!